All right, I'm excited for this. I, I am actually genuinely excited for this. People hail this game as like War Thunder 2, you know? Like, like this is supposed to be like the game that will upheave the long-standing monopoly that War Thunder has had on our beloved tank gaming industry, you know? I mean, th th this has been the game. I cannot tell you guys how many recommendations I have had to play this game. I've heard about this game so much. It, it, this is the hot tank game right now, and I have literally never played it. Sadly, I will also be totally confident with you guys that I don't know that much about uh, modern tank history either. Uh, I know the basics, I can, you know, I can hold the conversation, I can call it a, a prototype or two, but yeah, I think I'm, I'm not going to be able to provide like a Tank Enthusiast Reacts in-depth analysis of how accurate are the tanks in this game. Uh, and, but to be honest, I don't think I need to. I've seen the dev blogs for this game, and it seems to me like the devs know what the fuck they're doing. I've actually learned a couple of things from them, based on stuff they've mentioned in their dev stream. And apparently in two weeks, the game's about to get a huge update adding Russian forces, so maybe I should wait to do that before I record this, but whatever. I don't know about you guys, but I really do feel like in the Cold War, I really like Cold War Soviet tanks. I love the T-Series. I really do. Um, I definitely think they're a lot cooler than, like, the M48s. Especially the M48s. M60 looks cool, I'm okay with M60, but yeah man, not gonna lie to you, I, I'm gonna have to pick the reds for this one. I'm not communist, I just, the T55 is like one of my favorite tanks of all time that isn't between the years of 1935 and 1941. Also, uh, no face cam for this, uh, I'm sure you're, you've noticed and you're wondering. Um, I just think that, I don't know, for these like sort of gameplay style videos, maybe I'll go without it. Um, you guys in the comments, let me know. Would you guys want face cam for stuff like this or not? Uh, but we are in a T-55. Uh, I do believe a T-55A. That is what the game said. Oh, that is nice. That sounds nice. All right, I think we're going to go at this like the opening of The Beast. Uh, 1984 movie? Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, that is artillery. Oh, no, we're getting, we're getting shot at by something here. Okay, how do I, can I bop down into, ah, here we are. Oh, wow, I see. Okay, so I'm just, to describe this, my mouse doesn't do anything, but if I hold down right click and then drag the mouse, it's like to simulate, you know, pushing on the traverse mechanism. I love the sound effect of that, listen to that. Oh, that is, that is so nice, wow. You can hear the metal like scraping up against it and everything, that's really nice sound design. Also, these sound, these explosions are also really good sound design, and it's actually kind of freaking me out, so let's get the fuck out of here. Artillery is, and always has been, the biggest enemy of the tank, so we gotta keep moving. We do not want to get caught in that. I do believe I've been shot. Hold on, boys. Hold on, boys. Whoa! Jesus! Oh! We got whipped. Oh, I'm dead, I think. Point alpha? Ah, here we go. Oh, we, and then you can pick. Alright, alright. Situation, you are T-72M platoon, tasked with destroying an enemy position from their flank. The enemy has set up a defensive position along a tree line and has already destroyed friendly units earlier. You have successfully found a flanking route in order to proceed to conduct a hasty attack to destroy the enemy forces. We'll get up on this hill and we're gonna see what's up. That's enemy tanks right there. M113 down already? Whoa! Uh, misfire, or uh, accidental. Ooh. Nice. Shell ejection. Uh, that was an accident. I did not mean to shoot. I, uh, I profusely apologize. Lays target to set the range of the gun sight with E. Gotcha. So, rangefinder lays dump lead delta D. Don't know what that means. Adjust range left control mouse. Okay, that's, that's very cool. I like that. Stabilizer L, please. I think that would be nice. Oh, well, we turned it off, so we should probably re-enable that. Next weapon, F. Very cool. Reticle illumination I. Oh, that's awesome. Night Optic Thermals, T, Night Illumination. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Oh, I see. So you can just do all this without using keybinds. Okay, well, I think I have more or less familiarized myself with the controls. See, this is the stuff that other YouTubers would cut out because it's not good. I, on the other hand, make you suffer through it. So we have another T-55, or sorry, T-72 behind us. Those tanks I see, indeed those are. That's, well, that's an M113. Roger. On the way. That's the wrong gun. On the way. Oh. That felt like it would have hurt if I had hit. I'm not sure if I hit. We are getting, we're getting hit from the other side. Whoa, they're flanking us. Hey, what the hell? We're supposed to be flanking you guys. Roger, Roger. It's Abrams. Oh, God, Abrams. On the way. Oh, I would be panicking too. Yes, I would be panicking as well if I was these German crewmen. Go for lower glaciers. On the way. 
I have not played War Thunder top tier, but I think I can just... Do I know the weak spots? Oh my god, they are so close, they are so close. How are we not penetrating? On the way! Oh my lord, that thing is still up! Back up, back the fuck up! Uh, uh, smoke. Sa Salvo 2. Oh! We're hit. I was about to comment on how slow our reverse speed is, but then I remembered we are indeed in a T-72. I am in a really, really pick- I'm in a big pickle right now. Oh, it's a Bradley! Tell me at least we can kill this. Surely not. I know recent news would tell you otherwise. He's got a missile! Again, 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 again! Jesus Christ! Like the Chieftain says, you keep shooting until it either burns or changes shape on the way! Tank destroyed. Or, well... IFV destroyed. Oh my god, we still got a BMP too. What were you doing? Why were you not why were you not helping me? There are still two loose Abrams on the on the horizon as well. Oh fuck. Uh stop restocking. We gotta shoot. Let me know when that gun is up. On the way! Uh, <laughs> oh, there's a lot to manage and a lot to do. God, I'm trusting my lays on this. On the way! All right, yeah, I don't think I'm hitting. I think I keep hitting the ground. So I'm going to restart the scenario, I think. I'm going to restart with what I have learned. Yeah, let's just get to the position. Uh-oh. Abrams! Lays targets, there we go. On the way! Come on, that had to be a hit. On the way! All right, give me, give me heat, give me heat, give me heat. Give me heat. On the way! Hey, that's one cooking up! We still got one more, though. What the fucking Abrams got a cloaking device or what? Ooh. Abrams! We're looking right up his ass. Take aim, hit his ammo rack. On the way! It's an ammo rack hit, but he's not down. I know how Abrams works, I know. One more? That seems to me like dead Abrams. Hey! Well, we did it. Oh, wow. All right, here we go, okay. Player, ooh. Took a shot straight through the side of the Abrams, but it went, it, look, it went below. Yeah, so you don't want to shoot the hull. Yeah, you really want to shoot the um, the turret, the Abrams. I dished out a hit along the top of the hull, and it sort of scraped. Then I went after my second shot on this guy, the same thing, but this one looks like it went all the way through, killed the loader, actually. So that was good. This was a crazy shot. Oh, this was the, yeah, this was the behind shot. Man, if I went through the back, through the bustle, through the blast door, actually went all the way through and hit like all the gunner's computers and everything at the front. And then actually some shrapnel came out the front of the tank as well. And then, yeah, I put one more shot up the ass and yeah, that went all the way through, pretty much all the way through. Actually, no, yeah, I got caught inside. Through the back, oh my God, that's horrible. <laughs> Look at that, all the shrapnel all contained inside. That is like, that is mega death in there. This is a damn good shot, honestly, from such a long distance. Over a thousand meters, right? Like that—that that is the, that is a perfect hit, right where you want to go, on the ammunition rack, right at the back of the bustle. Damn good shot. Oh, this shot went all the way through as well. Look, the, the main white line. This is almost like the most fascinating part of the game. All right, I, I feel a lot more, wow, we have so many tanks at our disposal. Man, we got three platoons, holy shit. Second platoon, waypoint one, first platoon, waypoint one, and then waypoint two. All right, Raj. Rolling out. All tanks, move out. Oh, man, I do love the T-55. I really do. Such a beautiful tank. Keep our eyes peeled. Sorry, I did not mean to do that. Fuck, I'm so used to War Thunder. Are we getting shot at? Oh, we are. Contact, contact, contact. Enemy tanks. Set range gun sight. Oh, there's no lanes of range finder on this. Of course there's not. Okay, uh, 800, I'm gonna guess. Let's just do 800, see how we feel. On the way. Over, okay. All right, second platoon is engaging. We gotta roll. That's second and third platoon, it looks like. God damn. That arty is like genuinely PTSD inducing. Come on, buddy. Whoa, jeez, that was close. First second platoon are cleared to assault OBJ box. Roger Dodger. We're gonna go munch some box, boys. We got enemy? I think we do. I see enemy, enemy tanks. I see that, I see that. Oh God, what the fuck is that range, dude? Uh, Jesus. A kilometer? I'm gonna guess a kilometer. AP loaded. Gun is aimed on the way. Ah! We're dead. Fuck me. All right, well, I think it is time to try NATO. Let's roll. Ooh, this is cool. I like the sounds of this a little bit. Whoa. 
Jesus Christ. Ooh, I recognize this reticle. On the way. Ooh. Oh, I don't have a stabilizer on. That is probably a huge problem. I was wondering, I was about to say, I was like, man, the gun really rocks when you fire this thing. But no, I turned off the stabilizer for, you know, like dramatic cool effect while driving around. And you know, I generally don't like typically regard the M60 as like a cool looking tank, but it does actually look cool. Spotted on the way. Can I laser rage find? Stabilizer on. God damn it. Ooh, okay. That was too much. I don't really know where my indication is for range, but solid hit. All right, hold on. Does this have like a coincidence range finder? Is that what this like left and right? Oh, there it says on the bottom left. 1700, 800, 200. Okay, so this is, it is not quite sure how the uh, ranging on this tank works, but okay. I'm sure somebody in the comments is going to point out. I know I, I watch the dev streams and I've seen the devs make comments about how like every tank handles a little bit differently because of it in real life like some tanks have range finders some of them don't some tanks have different you know methods of range finding i do know that the m60s have those coincidence range finders on left and right i do know that it's about the blur the images it's two images that you have to like layer them on top of each other and that's how you know what your range is like i do know about all of those things but i just don't know which tanks have them and which don't and how exactly to use them in this game i see i see you got eyes on enemy tank there we are whoa vehicles targeting on the way that was a beautiful hit holy shit excellent roger i see vehicle on the way roger oh my god i love these commands they're so good on the way oh my god <laughs> Oh, that was stressful. That was stressful. Oh, wow. Man, I don't even know if I can deliver commentary of my own. The crew members of this tank are already doing it for me. I feel like I can just sit here and shut up and you guys can just listen to the ASMR that is the crew voices of this game. I mean, that, that's what this game is famous for. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm trying. I'm hitting it. I'm definitely hitting it. Oh, that's alive. That's alive still. On the way. Short. Okay. Gun is up on the way. Fuck, we're out of ammo. Oh, that was a kill. Holy shit, thank god. Negative. I. Oh, I do. I see. I see. I see. Eyes on. On the way. I gotta say, it feels good to be one shotting these things, <laughs> you know? Versus, you know, pumping two or three into one of them. Break contact. Okay. Yep, I can do that. Oh, enemy tank. I see that. Nope. I'm getting out of here. No, 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 no. Oh, this reverse speed is nice. I enjoy having this reverse speed. Sustained acceptable casualties. Hooray. We hit a really nice shot on this T-72, though. Very good. Oh, wow. Look at all the forces they had here. Wow. They had so many tanks. Another great T-72 through straight through the front of the turret. Oh my god, it went in one end and almost went out the other. Actually, it kind of did. It came out of shrapnel, but yeah, basically went straight through. Man, even through the breach and everything of that, that gun. That's a lot of metal that just went straight through. But yeah, I think this is the one shot that we got on that truck with our main gun. And look, we directly hit the driver. <laughs> oh man, he had a freaking 105 round go straight through him. Ouch. And then, yeah, we took that rough hit right before. Oh, man, that was a ricochet. Or, you know, it hit our armor and it uh, disintegrated. It's crazy to look back and, like, see stuff like this where it's like, man, like, you were pretty close to dying there. Defend area shark. M60A3. Eh, hold on, man. I want to see. Tank M1. All right, boys, you know what's about to happen. Ooh. -hoo -hoo! abrams oh wow man oh it looks so good the model is so nice i don't think i've ever played like a tank combat game as an abrams because you know like war thunder and whatnot i am so low on the totem pole i'm a free-to-play player so i will never make it to modern day top tier ever in my entire life so this is about the closest i'll ever get i reckon jesus this thing is so high tech you know calculate for lead as well look at that it like sways left and right based on lead of the target as well. So if the target's moving, then that's how you know. Oh, did you hear the whine of the turret? Oh. Oh, that's so nice. Such good sound design in this game, genuinely. God, I would kill for this in World War II. I know, I know that these guys are strictly doing 1985 timeline or whatnot, 
but god, I would kill for this in World War II, a game like this in World War II. This is the exact same mission, but with M1s instead of M60s. Sure, why not? All right, well, we know what to expect. Oh, man, look how fast this thing is. Holy crap. All right. Target spotted. Range on the way. Oh, <laughs> that was good. We're going all the way around. I know our first position is already a flanking maneuver, but this is even more of a flank, I think. And we don't have a hill to hide ourselves, so uh, let's just go for this, I guess. Keep the fives, though. This is going to be easy. On the way. See vehicles on the way. Oh my god, there's so many vehicles. There's so many tanks. Our track is out. Fucking hell. Oh, we're getting pummeled. Oh my lord. It's not working. I cannot see that smoke. God, it is so, so, so foggy. Oh my goodness. It's just burnt, burnt tank corpses everywhere. The horrors. I see enemy vehicles finally. Ranged up on the way. That's a vehicle down. On the way. Ooh, beautiful hit. I see him, I see him. Ranged up, on the way. That's a beautiful hit, that must be. Man, did we lose a single Abrams? I don't think so. God, this thing is so fast, agile. This gun is so good, just one shots everything and it can take such a beating. I mean, I know, I know, I know, I know. We went up against a bunch of T-55s. So yeah, I really can't expect much, but. Oh, I see. Ranged. Ready to shoot. On the way. Oh my god, what distance that is. Such a good hit as well. See another one. Ranged. On the way. Oh. Oh, long range shots are so satisfying. Alright, break contact. We're RTB, boys. What a beautiful vehicle the Abrams is. I really don't much, I, I usually don't much care for modern vehicles, but this game is definitely scratching some kind of itch and deep, deep inside my little tank brain. I don't know what it is, but I also don't really consider myself to be much of an Abrams fanboy, but man, this is very, very sexy. Ooh. I did not mean to do that. Just the amount of hits we took, like seriously. All these different vehicles, it's just the line, like boom, 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 boom. Man, like just their entire line formation just opened up on me, in the open too. I had no hill cover, nothing. If anything, you know, the top of my tank was kind of exposed. I was ang angled downwards towards them, but still just boom, 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 taking hits. I know you guys don't want me to do this. I am gonna go back to the reds. Should be able to yep i was about to say i should be able to see him by now there's multiple two of them at least oh god this is it the ultimate range guesstimation based on everything i know so far i'm gonna throw this at 800 but we're gonna try it here we go oh hold on a minute so i think i've just had a realization i was using the left two range indicators I know this already, that each bar is supposed to represent a different ammunition type, but obviously this is in Russian and I can't read it, and for whatever reason I just assumed that the second bar was, for whatever reason, APFSDS. I am now realizing it is more likely that it is the far right bar. So we're gonna set this to 1000 on that. There we go, turret is visible, and on the way. <laughs> I think we scored a hit. We actually may have been over by a little bit, so aim a bit further down. On the way. I think he actually might be either dead or disabled because he's not moving. So aim slightly left to see if we can hit the bustle. On the way. Oh, he's going up. <gasps> we did it. Oh, who would have known if I just used the correct range table, then <laughs> I would hit my shots. Okay, okay. Another target sighted. Ready, on the way. One more, on the way. He's out! <laughs> Holy shit! We did it, boys! We did it! We took out two freaking M60s! Oh, shit! I am so much more confident in my abilities to use the T-55! Oh, shit. Bringing up ourselves back up here. Oh, shit! My gunner was wounded. How? It's a 50! Die! 
missing? Oh, it's a Bradley! Oh no, it's not a Bradley. It is an M113. Oh, my god, my eyes are so bad, dude. What the hell? I should not be a tanker. So many missions with T55As. I mean, I love it, don't get me wrong, but here we go. T72M1. Man, enemy is four M1s? Jeez. Let's do it. Let's do a night fight. Let's try this. Oh, man. Against four Abrams? Oh, man. The in Whoa! The infrared spotlight. Yeah, look, you can't see it in normal, but in infrared. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. We're already getting shot at. We gotta shoot. We gotta shoot back. On the way. Back up. Oh, my God. The smoke. Oh, you can't see anything. Oh, no. We died instantly. You do lights. Toggle the gunner spotlight. And now we can see. Yep. So that, that's what that's what an infrared spotlight is. I mean, you know, I know that I say I, I don't know much about modern tanks, but I will say that. I do know that that's, what, that's how night vision, you know, used to work back then. Uh, the night vision sensors on their own weren't quite sensitive enough to be able to pick up just, you know, stuff. And so, yeah, you had to have these giant infrared spotlights to, you know, shine around the, the world to be able to see enemy targets. Are these guys doing, like, scanning? Oh, wow, that's so smart. Yeah, it's light discipline, of course. Turn on your light, scan, turn it off again. Wow, that's so smart. That's, it's gotta be real tactics as well. Out, we're taking shots. We've been killed. I see them. Are those Abrams? Oh god. That's it. Abrams in the night to the right. I'm also gonna come down a little bit. 700 meters. Oh! Dude, we are so outclassed. Alright, turn this shit off. The Abrams are there. That is Abrams. We gotta get down in the woods. We gotta fucking hide. We gotta get, we gotta let the T-55s engage first because they are, let's be honest, not gonna kill the Abrams. See lights. That's Abrams there. Those are T-55s with the spotlights. Contact on the Nine, 700 contact meters. Nach Target spotted. Opening up on the way. Oh, Stabilize the damn gun. That was my bad. Light on. On the way. Light off. All right, I realize now, it's not the chevron, it's the white line in the top that is your reticle, which doesn't make any sense, but whatever. On the way. NATO force have been neutralized, we did it! Woohoohoo! All right, let's do Abrams. One more time. Oh man, look at this. Dude, I love this shade of green. This is like olive green. This is almost like Sherman green. What a crazy time to be an Abrams crewman back when the Abrams was like actually like the most advanced tank in the world. Like right now, Abrams is great, don't get me wrong, but I mean, you know, it's in the 80s, man. Holy crap, 80s and 90s, being in an Abrams. God, what a power trip that must have been. All right, this is, yeah, I, I can't see, I gotta... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry? I do not see, is that, wait, hold on, is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that went right over my head. Holy oh, shit. Oh. The Chieftain literally talked about that in one of his videos, about how one of the downsides of ATGMs is flight time, and you give your enemy time to react. Holy shit. Sorry. Ooh, ooh, I see, I see target, I see target. Laced. On the way. Back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, okay. That's what I was scared of. It managed to fire a tow missile before I, or again, I don't know if it's a tow missile or what, but it managed to fire an ATGM before I, uh, before I shot it. More. Whoa, jeez. What are you shooting at? Oh, I see. Oh no, that's gonna, that guy's gonna get hit with a missile. On the way. On the way. Oh, that had to have been kill. You keep shooting until it burns or changes shape. One more. Oh, ho, ho, yep. All right, she's burning. Ooh. Enemy ATGM. Ooh. Oh, shit. We got hit. One of our teammates is hit. I see him. Fire. Dodge it, dodge it. Ooh, jeez. All guns, open up on that shit. All the way. I think we got it man i was just scanning the area because i was like you know i just want to make sure i got absolutely everything because like you know two bmps is is great and all but maybe there's more than just two bmps sure enough there fucking was God, I, mean, I barely could see that like look it's, it's so small you can barely see it 
Heavy tank. Oh. I was unable to get my gun in time. I got range. Out. Oh no. Uh, fuck. I got range. Out. Oh, power lost. I see. I think my stabilizer's stuck. Oh, we're down on manual traverse as well. Yep, I see that. Okay, a thousand meters. Hopefully this is actually accurate. On the way. Fuck, that's way off. We gotta go down. On the way. Way down. On the way. Hit. More down. Yes, sir. Gun is up. On the way. More down. Gun is up. On the way. Beautiful lower glacius hit. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Power lost. Right track destroyed. Power lost. We're the last ones left, boys. All right, let's crest this hill. We still got targets, and I see them. We got range. Going out. Beautiful hit right on the side of the turret. Hold on, bro. You shoot till it burns or changes shape. There we go. Shit. Where, 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 where? I see, I see. We still got heat equipped. Good. Going out. Rotate our hull just in case they shoot back. Next target acquired. On the way. Hey! That was it. Oh. Beautiful. What a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of machinery this is. Oh, man. I'll just do this. I'll just do this for hours and hours and hours. I'll literally just keep the camera at this angle and hold down W and just watch this thing roll over the waves. Man, I cannot wait for all the critiques people are going to have of my gameplay here. <laughs> You're doing it all wrong. Your tactics are shit. You don't know anything. Yeah. Shot straight through the BMP. Same thing with the second one. Oh, man. Direct hit with heat. Oh, <laughs> this dude got fucked up. Oh, I'm so sorry for him. The shrapnel all behind. Yeah, that's more than just shrapnel, dude. That is blood, guts, and viscera that got blasted. That tree behind him got coated in red. We got hit straight through. Oh, man, that is a tough... Oh, actually, that's kind of crazy the way it bent. Yeah, because, I mean, you know, if you've ever seen simulations of shells going through armor... Uh, just the mere act of hitting the plating is going to redirect the shell almost. Sort of opposite to the angle that it hits the plate at. And yeah, if this shot had continued straight on its original trajectory, it would have killed the loader. But because it hit the armor plating and was redirected through going, going through that metal, it actually went between the loader and everyone. Yeah, and this is when I was hitting him a million times trying to adjust my range because I uh, lost power and couldn't, couldn't uh, laser range find. Hit the spotlight again, which in real life that wouldn't have happened because the spotlight would be gone. And then, oh, that was it. Yep, that lower glacius shot. That went straight through. God, it went through the whole tank. In one end, out the other. Destroyed the transmission. Well, the final drives. Transmission. And yeah, definitely that would set off the carousel. Oh, man. Yeah, that'll send. Yep. That is a number one most effective way to send a Soviet tank turret into space. Center of mass, dead shot, right on the ammunition. All right, well, this has been um, my initial gameplay impressions of Gunner Heat PC. I'm glad I finally got around to it. It's definitely not quite exactly what I was expecting from it, but like, I, I think definitely in a good way. I see the potential for sure, and I, I saw the dev blogs, and I know there's an update. Like, by the time this video comes out, the update will probably have dropped, but I know that they're adding Russian forces. They're gonna add T-64s. Do I see this replacing something like War Thunder for me? I don't know, honestly. I think part of what I love about games like War Thunder is that you can do World War II, and I know I'm going to sound like a real ass here, but yeah, I, I'm personally not a huge fan of the fact that it's era locked, but, th but that's not bad, right? Like, this is not a knock towards the game. It's just this is totally personal preference. Controlling a Panther tank with the, the controls of this game and the AI, you know, rolling with like a platoon of Panthers or Shermans or something would be awesome. Infantry... You know, you know, I, I think this game is a really sick foundation, and I think I think the developers have, they know what game they want to make, and it's probably not the game that I'm talking about, so I think there'll always be that. For what it is, it's great. I mean, the ballistics work awesome. Dialogue is obviously uh, amazing. The big thing that people talk about this game is the whole uh, crew voice lines. Um, the sound effects, I will say, the sound design really is amazing in this game. I, I will give mad props there. Explosions, 
uh, gunshots, sound effects, all that stuff sounds amazing. Uh, the soundtrack of this game, as you can hear right now, is also quite banging. Uh, am I going to revisit this game? Yeah, probably, uh, especially once the up new update drops. I mean, you know, I've got so many games now that I've, are on my list to revisit. I do need to revisit Curse Tank Simulator as well. Don't worry, guys, I've got that on my mind. And now I need to revisit Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks, because that video did amazing, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting that video. Thank you so much for watching this video. A uh, huge shout out to my patrons for supporting me on Patreon. Uh, currently, there is only one tier, $3 a month. I'm looking to expand that quite soon. So if you want to do that, links are in the description. Join my Discord, links are in the description. And uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the format of this video, let me know. If you didn't enjoy the format of this video, let me know. Feedback is always appreciated. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it.